Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of indoor puppy activities going on here and when it warms up we'll be outside more but for now it's indoors cooking DIY projects and puppies. Good afternoon. I, after we got the smaller fish, as you can see, they're a lot more littler, but they've tripled in size. And we did get rid of the Pleiko because they were getting too big for the tank too. Um, a terrific lady took them. She has a 75 gallon tank just, just set up for Pleiko, so it's just perfect for her. And then I thought I would do a little upgrade on the aquarium, so I went and bought about a $9 can of paint, and I'm painting that. I love the paint color. Pardon the mess, but after I bought this table out at TJ Maxx, I love that color, so I thought I'm going to match the aquarium with that color. They couldn't do an exact match, but it was really close. I'm really happy with it. I pretty much got the aquarium done, and I do have a little bit there to do left, but it's pretty good. I, I'm really happy with it. And this is what the light's on. Um, yeah, I think it's all done, finished now, and I got the gate done. Everything matches. The gate won't be there forever because our one jumper doesn't jump, but sometimes it's nice to confine them just to the kitchen once in a while, but not always. Well, tonight I'm making an easy-peasy salad. My husband doesn't like the grapes, but I put grapes in my salad, and it took about two minutes, and then I'm uh, putting some crescent rolls around these hot dogs so they'll be done in about 15 minutes total time and voila easy peasy early supper and it tastes so good wow. good afternoon today is monday the dogs are full-on sleeping on the couch and Mindy's even snoring over there. But yeah, they pretty much took over our couch. Um, my husband sits in his chair at the computer, but because it actually is better for his back. But And I've been doing some cleaning, enjoying the aquarium a lot after I got it all done and painted. Well, I'm thankful our son is out there snow blowing, taking care of the snow for us today. Got a lot of snow, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, all the birds were on all these feeders and out there in the other tree and down here on the ground. But yeah, I think there was probably six or eight of those morning doves sitting on the fence over there. And I thought I'd experiment this year and I brought this plant in from outside and lo and behold it's doing really good in the sunny window here. Isn't that pretty? And then I brought in this one too. Um, good. So I think I forgot the name of this. So <laughs> on my mind today. Geranium, that's it. And that one's doing really good too. And this one is doing really hearty. And the geranium smells fantastic. Oh my gosh. This smells like summertime in here. But yeah, 
doing really good. They love, love that window. And let's see. I cleaned out our little ringer's bed in there because he has some anxieties when he's put in here and he'll tear stuff apart and drool all over everything. Can't even have a nice pillow in there because he'll tear it up. But I just put some cardboard down there and a towel. So that's all he gets for right now until he can calm down. And that's Mindy and Ava's little bed. They cuddle up together in there. And they don't mind it. It's their little cave away from home. <laughs> so we alternate them out. Bella and the puppies have their doors open. And then we have these guys' rooms open. So we have to alternate until the puppies get new homes and then Ringer and Bella can be out and um, <clears throat> Mindy and Ava can have their time out. So it's a big, revol big revolving door around here. <laughs> and I found these on Craigslist for $20 only. There's two more over there. But I thought that would be a good spot to hang them. Our back door froze, so I couldn't open that up, so our recycle bin's in the kitchen. And this is the puppy's laundry that I have to get done. Other than that, I've just been cleaning floors today, trying to clear the table off, feeding the dogs. I feel like it's a kennel, and I'm taking care of a kennel. <laughs> but anyway, I found this really nice cutting board at TJ Maxx. I needed a new one. As you can see, this one is kind of falling apart. So, but yeah, I like that one. It's pretty big, but I don't mind. I like it. And I put this table out here instead of the living room. And then this is the new table there, which I really like. I love it. It's perfect there. And then I bought another one for over at work, too. So, right, Mindy? Yeah, right. Are you a good girl? It's so fun watching the puppies grow. Now they're starting to wrestle with each other, which is so adorable. They all had a huge bowl of something to eat, but Mama gave dessert tonight. So nice. <laughs> In my Dutch oven, I'm just going to make a white sauce and then add some peas, green, beet, green peas in there. And should taste pretty good. Butter and flour. And I'll wait till that thickens and then I'm going to put some milk in there and that will be the white sauce and then I'll just add the peas. And I'm using my Dutch oven yeah, today and I am adding some salt and pepper. Give it a little extra flavor. Then you wait for it to thicken up, and then you add your peas or vegetables or whatever you want in there. Since I have a whole tub of sour cream, I'm just going to add that in there, just to kind of make it more thicker. We put it in with the puppies' food, so they get evaporated milk, 
broth, beef broth, egg whites, or egg yolks, sour cream, and some yogurt. We got some yogurt for them too. And they love it. They gobble it right up. <laughs> My husband looked up the recipe, so that's what it said online, and they really do like it. So I hope you're having a good day. And we'll talk to you soon. And then I just cover it and let it simmer for a little bit. It was really good over toast. And with a little bit of cheese on top. And it was very good. Good comfort food. Oh, how I miss these sunsets out fishing in the summertime. But I'll have to end here, and I uh, hope you're having a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Here's the quote of the day.